Hello and welcome back to Volatility 411. I'm Kevin Davitt, part of SIBO's Options Institute, and it's Monday, October 4th. Now, despite a strong Friday session for U.S. equities, the S&P 500 settled down more than 2% last week. The tech-heavy NDX was down 3.5% as growth names are struggling relative to value in a higher interest rate environment. The Russell 2000 fell only marginally on the week, further evidence of the value appeal versus growth of late. Today, equities are under pressure again. As I sit here, the S&P 500 is down about 60 handles or 1.3%. The index is measuring right at the 4300 level. The VIX index is back up to the 2324 range. The October VIX futures are trading around 23 and the November contract is trading about 80 cents over. The curve remains in contango. Now, oil and natural gas prices continue to be a concern. Crude oil traded to the highest point in about seven years with WTI around $78 today. European natural gas markets are experiencing significant volatility, even more than the U.S. markets. Now back to U.S. equities. With the uptick in realized volatility, index options trading has been very heavy. Average daily volume in the SPX options last week was around 1.9 million. That's the highest weekly ADV since mid-March of last year. Now this week, we get data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. In other words, the non-farm payrolls and the unemployment rate on Friday. The weekly 4,300 SPX straddle that expires on Friday is pricing in an up-down range of just over 2%. So that works out to about 90 handles. We'll see what's on tap for the first full week of October. Both realized and implied volatility levels have increased over the past two weeks. Option traders have been very active as a result. That's Volatility 411 for Monday. Thank you very much for tuning in.